chat chat press conferences Pre press conferences just dropped what we who are we gonna listen to we're gonna listen to wimby we're gonna listen to to pop wimby pop wimby we're gonna do pop uh i think he was uh if you can hear it he said that uh jeremy looked comfortable out there really confident uh had great pace, uh, aggressive. Uh, he did everything we we were hoping he would do. Yeah. Well, Devin, you know he's a, he's a scorer, he's a shooter, and uh, he's starting to understand uh, how to get to his spots, how to chase space, that sort of thing. So uh, I thought he did a good job in that regard, and uh, he's really making an effort defensively to pick up that end of the court. Mm, that's a good question. I, I feel like the cohesion cohesion was really nice. Actually, obviously, still learning, but there was a few times in there where I said, "Hello, Be beautiful game." Is is that you talking? Well, it was fine. I mean, it's you know, it's a preseason game, and they just got together, so it's kind of hard every day. You know, how they do today? How they do today? It's kind of hard to answer that kind of a situation. But uh, they're giving their best effort to. Uh, not only play the way we want them to play, but uh, playing together and realizing what their teammates, you know, can do. I mean, and it's so nice because the team has finally just kind of backed up. Because that first team, that first game, even though Wimby had some like really nice points, uh, that first game it seemed like the team kind of backed up and was like, um, okay, no, 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 I'm sorry. The first game it seemed like they were playing more so. Okay, he's just one of the guys. Okay, we're just playing good basketball. Uh, in this last game, they were playing good basketball, but good basketball sometimes is just give it to Wimby. Just pick and pop, give it to Wimby. And I felt like the team really trusted Wimby in this second game and went at him way more often or went to him way more often or looked for him way more often than, than normal. And I think a big chunk of that, a huge chunk of that is Jeremy Sohan. Jeremy did it almost every play. He was like, this is his high basketball IQ, of course. He's like, this is the best possible uh, uh probability of of this of this uh ball going into the hoop uh but yeah sorry i, I ran I mean, what up clan what up andrew you know there's, there's a reason why oh and hello gregor gregory sorry miami was in the finals last year uh you know a lot of their guys weren't even here and physicality wise and defensively you wouldn't even know that uh you know they they're fantastic in that regard eric does a great job and it's it's in the water there uh, so I thought that as the game went on, we, we got a little bit better at trying to do the same thing. Uh, and that's one of the things we want to look at. Uh, rebounding wise, we were god awful. Uh, they were much more aggressive on the board. We were? Hold on. Hey, we had 35 and they have 50. Wait, how many offensive ones did they get? That's one to look at. 19. They had 19 offensive rebounds. They had 19 offensive rebounds. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we were god awful. I knew that Wimby only had four rebounds. And that was one thing that I said before. I was like, you know, people got mad at me when I said this, but I was like, Wimby, the only weakness that he has at this point is just securing rebounds. And I think that does come down to, a, you know, a little bit of strength. And once he gets the rebounds, just securing it. Um, but I mean, he looked better with that over the past couple games. But yeah, four rebounds. No, he, he should have had much more, much more than four. Um, but the team as a whole got to do better. That's that, that's what Pop's getting at. So yeah, good stuff. Oh, crap. I lost the video. Here it is. Take it away, Pop. That's an area we'll have to work on. He's, you know, Trey is the uh, ultimate competitor. Uh, he's just a tough nut. And you see it in all sorts of ways, whether he's... No, I agree. I'll take Wimby Garden half the floor over him getting uh, rebounds for now. No, 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 I agree. I was just saying that there was times in that game 
where Wimby could have gotten the rebound and he just didn't, you know, box out well enough or he wasn't uh, necessarily physical enough. He w- he was attempting to. He was attempting to. Um, but I think that might be where that strength comes in. But it's totally fine. He's not a traditional center. It's it's all right. He's going to get plenty of rebounds as the season goes on. Uh, I just I was just talking about this game in particular. And so a trend that I've seen from him is securing rebounds has been pretty tough for him. Driving to the basket, uh, going after a rebound, you know, playing D or trying to make a steal. Uh, he just lifts everybody. Where is improvement you see from Don Barlow? Oh, that's a good uh, question. You know, Dom's learning about Don Barlow in basketball, and you know he's gotten better uh, every year. The G League has been great for him, uh, getting those minutes, and he's starting to play confidently. You know, shooting shots, and uh, he was afraid of those, you know, a year ago. So. He's doing well. Looks like you got Victor a little bit of time at the five. How do you think he's there? His mid range was really nice. And now they're asking. I, the reason why I'm telling you what they're saying is because I don't know if it's picking up because it's so soft. Um, he said, uh, "What do you think about Victor at the center position?" Yeah. He was fine. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna play both positions. He's, uh, you know, it depends a lot on, you know, matchups, scouting reports, who we're playing, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, he's obviously. A gifted player who's very humbly trying to find his place. I called one play for him all night, and I think he got over 20. Uh, He just did that because he's a good basketball player. Wimby, Wimby, so nasty, bro. He is so nasty. He understands how to play, so uh, we have to make sure that we blend that with everything else that we have. Pop just said, "Go out there and play." He looked like that, and it was no plays for him. There were no plays for him. He, he just, he just went. He just did. The play is give it to Wimby. This, isn't this reminiscent of something? It, re, it reminds me of some, somebody. There was another player that Popovich would put in there and he would just give him the ball. And he wouldn't he wouldn't set up any plays for him. It was just kind of give him the ball and everybody else get out of the way. It it reminds me of it's as the as the girls will say, it's giving it's giving 2003. <laughs> he did. And he scored on it. Good calls depend on who's got the ball. <laughs> you know. Ah, good stuff. That was actually really cool. Oh my goodness. He just, he just Pop said you get, get give him the ball and get out of the way. <laughs> just get give him the ball and get out get out of the way. Pop is not going to uh yell at Wimby that often. We're not gonna see it. I can only recall a couple times, at least in game, and it's not like I've watched like every single Spurs game um ever. But it's only like a couple games that I remember where Popovich went at Duncan. Um, and then Danny Green, I would have to think about games that he didn't. But Duncan, he didn't go at him that often. In games, it didn't seem like. Um, wow. Wow. True, like Wimby can ever hear Pop yelling from all the way down there. Can I say something, Gregor? Gregor Von Doom, can I say something? You are so quippy. You are the the quippiest person in the chat every time. I mean, you you're you are just fast with it, man. Good God. I feel like I can say anything and then you'll make a joke out of it. You're so quippy. Jeez. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm excited. I'm excited for the season. And Pop is too. Pop is too.